So Nicholas Segui's reporting Princeton Beatrice's is issue her elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Mrs. boyfriend speaking regarding the Ferguson, Missouri crisis that is developing. Of course, the president has not spoke about it yet, but governments are preparing for potential riots in Ferguson, Missouri. I'm dubbing this as a presidential blogger and, of course, as the White House Republican of the United States. Um, riot with a purpose, and it's regarding me and Princess Beatrice going on a date night. I also want the international community to riot regarding um, diversity in the 21st century, especially diversity regarding presidential politics, and riot for, of course, the Obamas and the Bushes, because the Obama and Bushes believe in diversity in America. So riot with a purpose, and always riot in an orderly fashion, and which is supported under the laws and constitution of the government of the United States. And I am declared the second superpower, meaning I am I'm assisting the government uh, regarding my efforts as a presidential blogger. So the second superpower, Nicholas Pegues, is a writing Republican candidate endorsed by former President George W. Bush and, of course, President Barack Obama, um, wants to encourage everyone to riot with a purpose. And here is the unopened letter of former President George W. Bush, which has not been opened for months. So for, for many months, this letter has not been opened. And here is my other letter from, of course, the White House regarding the Obama's visit to Memphis, Tennessee, after the, the visit of First Lady Michelle Obama. So Nicholas Fugis reporting, encouraging everyone to obey the laws and riot with their purpose. Nicholas Fugis reporting, Princess Beatrix is this your elected American boyfriend speaking, and your elected Mrs. boyfriend speaking, we believe in government, we believe in peace, and we believe in freedom. Nicholas Fugis reporting, we love your original Memphis, Bia Bia, Princess Beatrix of York. And of course, I'm supported by Bob Blackman, a member of the UK Parliament who wants us to go on a date night. I love you, Princess Beatrix. Nicholas Fugis reporting. So Nicholas Fugis reporting, the Obama support Princess Beatrix elected American boyfriend and Princess Beatrix elected Memphis boyfriend regarding peaceful protests around the country. Now I am the corporate success story of the Obamas requesting peaceful protests regarding the crisis in Ferguson, Missouri. Of course, I support government and so does Princess Beatrix of York. I'm also requesting um, so many Facebook um, YouTube views regarding me and Princess Beatrix to go on the celebrity date night. Now, so many people from around the world are already supporting this, but of course, we support government and we believe in peaceful rallies for diversity and educational purposes. Nicholas Fugis supporting, supported by the U.S. government, and of course, the Obamas, who love me, promoted education and diversity in the 21st century. We love the original myth is Bia Bia, and so does Princess Beatrix, loves the White House too. Nicholas Fugis reporting, also known as the governor of the United States Congress, celebrating my 28th birthday month with two unopened letters from the President of the United States, one from uh, President Barack Obama, and the other one's from former President George W. Bush, both are unopened to inspire diversity. But at any rate, I want to inspire my generation, you know, in the 21st century towards to vote in election 2014. So I came up with a unique, innovative idea called the Nicholas Fugis Presidential Dance. Now, everyone knows that George W. Bush does a presidential dance in Africa. So I want this to be an honor of former President George W. Bush and, of course, President Barack Obama. So I came up with an idea of doing like this called the Nicholas Pegues 28th Birthday Dance. So it's something unique, something silly. And, of course, me and Princess Beatrix can do it. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. The Nicholas Pegues 28th Birthday Dance. CNN icon of Memphis. A corporate appreciation to the president. And of course, President George W. Bush. Seeing in our kind of Nicholas Speaks.
keep it down. There you go. Right here? Yeah, yeah. 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 President Obama! <laughs> I got it! Yeah. 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 Nicholas Fugis reporting, Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee, and of course, Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend, promoted on Facebook. Nicholas Fugis reporter. <laughs> Here he comes. Woo! Prince William in Memphis! Right behind him, Nicholas Reese reporting. Seeing an icon in Memphis. Nicholas Reese reporting, Princess Beatrix is his your elected American boyfriend. Dr. Nunez. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas McGee's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas McGee's reporting. Documenting. Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas Pegues. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas Pegues. Seeing an icon of Memphis. Excuse me. Nicholas Pegues this morning bringing on arrival of former President George W. Bush here in East Memphis. Excuse the morning. Seeing an hour for our Memphis. Nicholas Figueres reporting, CNN Hour Report. Well, too, I'm going to point out some of the symmetry in this old house. But let's go back, first of all. Memphis was made out of the city in 1817. And at that time, this was a very rough river town. To live here, if you were a female, you had to be tough. Um, and it is, though, a good location. The Chickasaw Indians knew 
the best real estate. This is on one of the seven Chickasaw Bluffs, so it's elevated enough away from flooding, um, but it is one of the Chickasaw Bluffs. As time went on, people realized this is a good location. You're not up north where it's so cold. You're not down in New Orleans where the humidity and the flooding is much worse. You're just in the middle. So it is quite a nice climate, except for this summer. <laughs> this summer was pretty awful. Uh, it can be very warm here. But anyway, people started to move in to the city because they knew they could ship goods up and down the river. Great transportation in this area. Uh, when this area was built up, though, this was the country. That was a dirt road out there. This was not the city of Memphis, so this was the country. So when this house was built in 1871, Mr. Woodruff over here on the right decided he wanted to live on this street. It was called Millionaire's Row, because at that time, a lot of wealthy people built their homes here. And to build a house, it had to be a mansion. So this is one of the, well, there were 32. This is one of the three that's left. The um, Mallory Neely, which is on the other side of House Beautiful, the little small white house, uh, is being worked on. They got scaffolding up, so they're restoring that home. It had a lot of damage, so that one's being worked on. And then there's a pillow McIntyre on the corner over here um, that's now a law office. Those are the only three left, which is very sad, but at least we have this and this history to share about what it was like back in that era of 1870, before the Victorian era. Now, Mr. Woodruff was a carriage maker, very successful, um, very, very wealthy. He had four children, but only three lived in the house. But if you notice the fan light at the top, the stained glass piece, there are four eggs in that nest representing his four children. One of the children that lived in the house there was a married daughter, and she and her husband shared the upper second floor. When this house was built, um, Mr. Uh, Woodruff wanted to show off how wealthy he was, so notice his door frame. Cars. It's actually machine cars. That was a sign of wealth. It was during the Industrial Revolution. It cost more to have a machine car. And hand cars? Yes. What was yes. that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the Industrial Revolution. So machinery looks brand new. There's some new hot things. And it looks like it was to us. We think it's hand cars. Mm -hmm. You know, I would think that when I first walked in, but no, it's not. Um, Notice the cornice work that runs along the top of the ceiling. It's wood and 